Dan Ives, Dan Ives, CEO of Opti Solutions. What we do and why, and, and it's a little bit of a shake out of the normal chain of, of commercial real estate tech. But by a show of hands, how many in the room have stayed in a hotel in the last 30 days? And how many in the last week? Many of those same hands. Myself, every week of the year, I think I've been in a hotel in the last, in the last 18 months. But hey, the reality is, is we are a community and a world of travelers and we're de dependent on hospitality. And from a, just stepping back from a pure real estate tech sp space, it's a very, and the most dynamic use of commercial real estate we'll find as a consumer. But there's two sides of the story. There's we the consumer, the hospitality participant who is looking for an experience, and then there is the business of running that real estate and making money in it. Um, a few interesting tidbits. Real estate, hospitality, the, one of the top three employers in 32 states in the nation. Housekeeping, though, when I'm in the business of running a hotel is by far the single largest P&L item. And for any of you who have interest in or have friends or family with interest in, you're aware that it's a heavy human factor and it's a big cost. Uh, but more importantly, does the consumer, a dirty room is the number one factor, J.D. Powers has shown it over and over, is the number one factor in causing us to choose a different hotel, a different brand, a different place. And in fact, the expectation is we walk into that room, we want it to feel as, the, as if it's never been lived in before. Um, that's the perfect experience for us. But the market, what is the opportunity and what's the size of this problem? It's enormous. 180,000 hotels worldwide, more than 17 million branded hotel rooms. But if we step and we look at the United States alone, it's nearly, it's nearly a third of that, or almost 5 million hotel rooms in, in North America. Uh, and what does it mean? It means uh, four billion room cleans a year. And it's a really dynamic, very human heavy, intense business. Um, and that means right now in the world, there are a million people today cleaning hotel rooms. So it's massive. Let's go through the day in the life. From a business operator, what happens? Let's take a five, well, let's take the uh, Marriott Marquis up in Times Square, 2,000 rooms. In the morning, five in the morning, there are a group of management team that come together to get their roster of cleaners out and to start assembling the information out of the property management system. I've got to put schedules together. Today, universally, this is done on clipboard and papers. We pull that electronic information out, we translate it to clipboards to prepare for the 200 people who are coming into clean rooms. Two hours later, after we've gone through this machination, we hand those static fixed schedules over to a team of, team of people. We do a stand up like we're right here, send everybody off on the way to go clean their rooms. But what's important in that, in that time frame is, we're sending them off untethered. We don't know where they are. There's no real direct means of communicating with them. Um, and there's no way to affect my day. And what we all know as travelers is the hotel stay is not a static thing. We show up, we change our mind, people leave early, people show late. We send them off into a world, they clean, they run into things, the unknowns. I can only imagine the things that are found in the hotel rooms in Las Vegas. The, uh, once they get into that room, they've got to deal with reporting back on maintenance issues. We step out of the room and say, don't clean my room for three hours. The, the light bulb's out, the bathroom curtain is down. Whatever that information is, is a dynamic part of the business I operate called the hotel. But most importantly, it has to do with the quality and the experience, and those are the reasons that we return, is that room is perfect. The challenge in accomplishing that is, is enormous. And, and then Aaron shows up at the front desk, unannounced. He had no reservation, and we have one room left. It's his normal presidential suite, which he demands, and nobody's cleaned it in five days because nobody uses it. So how do I communicate? And this is the reality of what happens even in your largest hotels. Somebody radios a supervisor on a floor who runs to find somebody. <clears throat> in this case, probably two somebody's because it's the big suite. We've got to gather them together, break them out in the middle of a clean, send them over. All the while, Aaron's standing at the front desk, either in a queue or standing aside to this industry, I like calling hospitality. It's called hospitality for a reason. Very kind people greeting us. The reality is you have aggravated guests, dirty rooms, unprepared events throughout the day, and a really, really difficult time operating, managing. And the big deal is it's, a, it's heavy, heavy cost. Chaos. It's unmanaged, unmitigated chaos uh, that, that permeates the industry. I'm Dan Ives, I'm the CEO of Opti Solutions, and we are putting chaos to bed in a, in a huge way. 
the day in the life of, a, of an Opti user, Opti Hotel, the team shows up not at 5 a.m., but at 7 a.m. The rosters are preloaded. They validate it using a patented technology. They kick out an automated schedule, um, and it's optimized. It's optimized not only in the order and they're clean, but and it's optimized the business, but in the length of time. We know, we predictively know the time it's going to take to that clean based on the profile of the guest, the user, the room, the space. We issue a small handheld device. doesn't look like this, but I don't have a third hand. A, a mobile device to every, to every uh, room attendant in the hotel. They, they are now off. They do their stand-up and they're off to clean. But what's important is they're tethered to the process, they're tethered to the hotel, they're tethered to the business. We know where they are. They're now a part of a total quality management system. They complete the room. They can hand that off to an inspector electronically. 100% inspection is completely achievable now in a 1,000-room, 2,000-room, and 3,000-room hotel as we're doing in Macau and in London and in Dubai. So what ends up happening? Cues are gone to the front desk. We have happy guests. We have rooms that are ready, and we know the quality of them. We're measured. We know the quality of the person that is doing the work. And we have a, a system now that runs, a property that runs as it should, more, efficient, more efficiently and with awareness of where the people are and the type of work they're doing. Um, so what, what is the ultimate outcome? For the operator, front desk queues are gone. They're literally eliminated. We, Marina Bay Sands in Singapore was paying $30,000 a month in comps to large tour groups that were coming in because rooms weren't ready. That was eliminated. Uh, Four-hour queues in Marina Bay Sands wiped out nearly overnight. Um, we've got known quality measurements on the individual, on the operational level. We have uh, just an improved Guest experience, trip advisor ratings almost always go up, but most importantly, as we drive down operational costs, 10 to 20 percent, and all the housekeeping, cleaning, and service delivery in the hotel. You know, what does it mean from an opportunity? Um, this is a 5 percent, less than 5 percent penetrated market. And, you know, as a guest staying at a hotel, most of us wouldn't be aware that it's such a human factor. In fact, it is, and this is to, to me one of those, one of those break open opportunities. All of the major companies are saying, aha, we need to do something about this. Um, today, Opti is installed in over 21,000 rooms globally. It had been the, the five-star iconic hotels like the Shangri-Las, the Galaxy Casinos, the Sands Organization, um, the, the Palms Dubai. Organizations like that have defined what Opti needs to be to deliver a total quality experience, doing everything from maintenance awareness, communication, to turndowns and touch-ups. Um, and really exciting for Opti today. I'm pleased to announce that we are formally in a operational beta phase with our public area application, which to the larger real estate tech community really is significant because we're taking this very tailored but flexible technology and saying, look, manage your space, manage your workflow, manage your asset. Um, across any type of real estate. We're pleased to be doing this with a large partner of ours in Asia. And um, so in any case, I am Dan Ives. We are Opti Solution, and we are air traffic control for housekeeping.